Hello there everyone, it's Ryan, and welcome back to my Space Engineering series. And uh, Colossal is here with me. And we decided to have a little bit of fun, and as you might have noticed in the background there, there is some strange red blinking lights. I wonder what those could be. Could they be explosives inside of that ship that we worked so hard to modify to explore? Perhaps. Are we crazy? Probably. But you know what? It's going to be fun. And the blinking is actually getting faster. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little worried. Oh man. Oh, poof. Oh. <laughs> God. <laughs> there is nothing left of it. <laughs> That's what I figured would happen. It was just kapoof. <laughs> that was great. Uh, ship? What ship? <laughs> I don't know oh, what you're wow. talking about. <laughs> and luckily, all the other ones survived. That yeah. Yeah, no, that, that works pretty well. But wait, there's more! We have... Well, I'm gonna show them. I'm gonna go over to the little ship first. Where is yep, it? That's probably a good idea. We have this little fighter. And I decided... I wonder what'll happen if I just put some uh, warheads on there, take the safety off. And Colossal is going to ram the, um, the ship we just destroyed's brother with me inside. I should probably empty out my inventory and do with yeah, the I, ship I, first. Yeah, that's what I'm doing now. <laughs> <laughs> Neither of us are walking out of this. Not likely. So All he's right. going to be our uh, our much honorable suicide pilot, and I'm just going to be in there to get a good view. <laughs> We're both going to die. Well, actually, I might survive depending on the size of the explosion and if it actually works or oh, not. Oh, you uh, could it be looking through a camera or actually sit on it? I'm I'm gonna be piloting the ship and in the the third person view to see the outside. Oh, is what I'm gonna geez. do. Yeah. Thought it'd be fun. I mean, I put absolutely no thought into the piercing of it. I have designed ships that the purpose is to ram them, and the, the warheads will explode inside. But oh. I didn't do that with that one. This is just a straight up. Let's blow shit up and see what happens. Kind of deal. Gotcha. But yeah, we'll see if I survive. And I'm pretty sure he won't survive. <laughs> no, it's not likely. <laughs> it's not likely at all. Uh, hmm, do you want to ram into the side, or should I point this towards you so you ram right into the glass in the front? Uh, hmm. The front hmm. sounds fun. The front does sound fun. <laughs> hmm. You know what? I actually am going to make a couple changes to that fighter really quick. Oh, okay. Let me hop out and... Uh... Mm -hmm not waste the energy. <laughs> yeah, I will uh, pause the video and I'll bring you guys right back when I'm done with these modifications. Alright, I am back. We, uh, well, I went a little overboard. I added this little uh, heavy armor spike in the front, added a ton more explosives, and I just had a thought after we finished this that, you know, when these go off, it might just cause a chain reaction and set everything else off, but hey, you don't know till you try, right? So, Colossal's gonna get into that. I'm gonna position myself in the cockpit of this. I'm gonna have a front row seat. Not as good as your seat, but... I mean, almost. <laughs> almost as good. <laughs> uh, oh, wow. I almost can't see because of the balls. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm pointing pretty much directly at you. Let's do this! That is at you. Alright, I think I'm good. I'm trying to decide if I want to see this in first person. Oh, oh god! Oh god! <laughs> you just went poof! <laughs> oh no. What'd you do? I, uh, inched forward with the thrusters. I think they might have been in contact with a bomb somehow. Oh shit, I didn't even pay any attention to that if any thrusters were in the way. <laughs> you just, I just see a flash and your name disappear. That's kind of wonderful. Uh, I don't think it did any damage to anything. No, I'm just gonna check. You're far enough away, and it's all good. Alright. We can always, uh, load and try again. Yeah, I did save right before, and I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Right. I'll bring the video back once I reload. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, after that little mishap, I figured out what was going on. Some of you guys might have actually picked up on it in the, uh in the footage there, but I just had no idea. I placed these warheads right in front of this thruster on the top. So I have rerouted the warheads, 
everything is as it should be. Hopefully. And hopefully. <laughs> and hopefully Colossal doesn't die an untimely death. Hopefully he lives a few more seconds so he can die by colliding with my ship. Yeah. Alright. So Alright, well everything looks to be in order. Hopefully he doesn't die. And I'm yeah. gonna go ahead <laughs> Well he will die, but hopefully he doesn't die out there. Too soon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You don't die until I say you can die, dang it. Yes. Um, anyway, I'm going to hop into the cockpit. What do you think? Do you think I should be in first person or third person? Because um, it would be, be kind of fun to watch you slam into me from first. That's what I'll do. Yeah. And I hit tab, so I turned off the HUD. Oh, <laughs> so it's just uh, you and me. <laughs> All right. I hope <laughs> I need to uh, scoot this around a little bit to get an adjustment on you. Making sure I'm hitting you. Yeah, let's do this. All right, I uh, I shall go now. Godspeed. <laughs> hit me! I want you to hit me. <laughs> <laughs> I see the thrusters from the little chips floating away. Whoa, you're really garbly. What happened? Oh, jeez. Oh, you're fine now. You sound okay now. There's all sorts of uranium floating around. And some uh, hunks of armor from your ship. I'm yeah. alive. Did it even go through? <laughs> it it punched a hole in the front. Well, it, I think what happened is, it was what I was worried about. It's, instead of piercing, it all sets it off all the warheads at once. Uh. Because they're connected up. So... No, it didn't really pierce. Uh, uh, if you want, you can come check it out. Did it look wonderful anyway? <laughs> it, it it was pretty entertaining. From the safety of the, the ship. It looked it was it was pretty fun. Relative safety. It actually destroyed the cockpit. Did it? Yeah, come look. Did you break glass? Come take a look. Try view basically it's like I bounced off the glass and then <laughs> Way past. That was really garbly. Apologize. You should apologize, dang it. No, I don't. It's okay. <laughs> I can understand you now. But yeah, this is the extent of the See, there's some armor blocks, armor ramp <laughs> corner, armor ramp corner 3x1. But no, I survived. I went hey, from, that's good at least. I'm at 92% health. <laughs> I mean, if I had designed it just a little bit differently, I totally would be dead. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> still worth it. Generally functional still, so that's good. Yeah, I'm just missing the cockpit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. That can be replaced pretty easily. But, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll work on really fixing this up later. It's it's deserved to uh, to live. Especially yeah, after we murdered it's, it's <laughs> especially after we murdered its twin okay. brother. <laughs> anyway. Well, I really haven't talked about drones yet in my Space Engineer series, and that's something Colossal was pretty interested in. He's actually working on one of his own, and I whipped a really basic one up really quick. This is his right now. Is it functional yet? I don't uh, see the thrust well, I see those two thrusters. I put I put uh, fuel on the reactors. Okay. I need to add another couple thrusters. Okay, and you've got the uh, remote control block in there, and and the antennas on top. Antenna. Okay, so you would just need cameras and a couple more thrusters for the different directions. That's not bad. Yeah. I, All right. I told you about that the micro the... thrusters, didn't I? Micro thrusters. Yeah, they're just one one by one. If you look at my drone over here, um, these these blocks down here on the oh. bottom. Oh, okay. Those are micro thrusters. They're really oh. handy. I use them a lot on drones. I didn't know they existed. Yep, they are a thing, and they're quite handy. Oh, there they are. Look at that. Ta-da! Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the connector. <laughs> <laughs> All right, maybe I'll use those then. Yeah, no, they're a lot of fun. But um, let's take control of this little guy. Yeah, the micro thrusters don't provide much thrust at all. You can actually bump the ship around even with the inertial dampeners on. Right. Like, see, I just bumped it and it moved quite a bit. Uh, okay. But no, oh, your your basic drone. All you need is um, 
an antenna. You definitely need the antenna because that way you can, um, like I can sit in the back of this blue ship in one of the passenger seats and I'll actually just show you how to do it. I will run all the way back here. You can either be in a passenger seat or the, the cockpit, it doesn't matter. I'll just get into this. You hit K, the terminal button, default is K, and you select your drone, which is listed right there. Alright, so you're at this screen, what you do is you click your remote control, and you hit control. Amazing, right? And now, it's um, if you hit I, it shows the inventory and everything of the grinder drone. By the way, if you want to change the name of your ship, when you're in the terminal, you go to info, ship name, and then you can name it whatever the heck you want there. But one major thing that's also really important with drone is cameras. I have a couple cameras assigned already. If you want to assign a camera, you hit G, you look at all blocks, and then you find your camera, you click and drag it to the desired hotbar position, and you just select view, and that way when you hit it, like I'm going to hit one right now. I'm viewing from that camera, and now I can see Colossal working on his drone. Hi there! Hello! I should drill you right in the face. No, I won't do that. Oh no, please. <laughs> oh god, why? <laughs> and then um, I have a connector on the back of this thing. I'll show you when I get back to the actual drone. So I've put a camera on the back for uh, docking and unloading resources. And of course I've got the drill on the front of this. And yeah, you basically you just fly around like it's a normal manned ship, except you're tucked safely away inside of your flagship or what have you. I now, will, uh, step out of the way. <laughs> I, I'm actually not uh, controlling it anymore. Oh, okay. Coming back. You can also control these ships from the uh, accessing a control panel on the ship itself. Like, I'm just going to go to the connector here, hit K, control panel, remote control, and see, I'm now controlling the ship, and even though I'm not in the camera view, I can still move this ship around. You don't necessarily you know, have to see what you're doing through the camera's angle, but you can still do that if you want. So now I can look down and see myself. Hi there! <sighs> but no. So I, uh, this is actually a modded connector. It makes it really teensy tiny. It's a very basic design, really. Um, might look a little complicated if you're new to making drones or ships or just new to the game in general, but it's got the grinder on the front. It does what you think it does. It grinds away at the whole of things or people's faces or I evil kittens or what have you. It dumps it into the medium cargo container. And I can use this connector to uh, dump the cargo. What have you. These are uh, all the micro thrusters. They are, well, the thrust. Up on top, this is where I mounted the camera and get rid of my grinder. Actually, I'll get rid of the HUD too, it makes it easier to see. Meanwhile, he's working away back there. Um, I just threw everything important up on the top, really. I mean, it's a drone, it's not meant for combat, not meant to take any fire. I've got the three reactors on there for power, a couple gyroscopes. There's the frontal camera. This is the remote control block right here. It needs to be facing the way you want it to go. Otherwise, it might screw up things. There's the antenna. And yeah, it's really not that complicated once you get the hang of it. It's just a matter of knowing how to actually get to the controls. And then, as I said before, it's just like flying any old ship. And it's a wonderful time. Because you don't have to worry about dying. Yeah. Uh... I think this thing might be functional. I think it might be. I mean, yeah, I, I, I'd hope so. I have up, down, I think I have every direction. <laughs> up, down, I'm checking for you. Just double checking. Sometimes it just helps to have a second yeah. set of eyes look over it. Um, it yeah. Does indeed. Everything looks good from here, although... I don't think I'm going to make a bottom for it, to be honest. <laughs> okay, how do you get the uranium in there? I already uh, placed it and built back around it. But do you have any... Well, okay, the problem with that is... Oh. It, when it runs out, you don't have any way of doing that. So even in my designs that... Um, you know, the all the reactors are enclosed and connected to... I still have a, like a storage container that has a port on the outside. Because then all you have to do is like throw the uranium in there... And then it'll distribute it to the reactors. Oh, okay. Gotcha. But, yeah. 
usually on these drones, it's not a big deal to me. I just, I'll just leave the space inside. <laughs> yeah. There you go. There you go, that's fine. What, where's your other reactor? Okay, yeah, yeah, that'll yeah. work. That's fine. Alright, um... How does one control such a thing? Alright, well, <clears throat> first things first, you need some cameras. Oh yeah, that's definitely a good idea. Is this the front, the direction that I'm... <clears throat> yes. Like, that's the front side? You got a nice flat face there for a camera, too. Yeah? Yeah, oh, yeah. like on the side of the little micro micro one. Yeah. Oh. Oh no, I might have some... Oh, oh I just oh, God. hurt myself on you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm made of steel. It seems so. I mean, clearly you didn't kill me when you ran me with that small <laughs> ship, even though it destroyed the cockpit. That's just weird. <laughs> there we go. You went up in a nice little explosion, though. <laughs> Again. <laughs> so that's really all you need. I only put a camera in the back because, you know, I dock with it. You don't, I mean, you can if oh, you want, true. by all means. Hmm. Well, I'm not going to be backing up, actually. Okay. Actually, um, this is a little bit more advanced, but if you wanted to, you can use a rotor block, and you can have a small armor block sitting on top of the rotor, and you can have a camera, a camera. on the that's side, really and you cool. can actually rotate it around and look. <clears throat> That's but I, I mean, uh, for something little like this, you know, this I is... might get rid of the landing gear itself and do that from the bottom. Maybe, maybe another time. But yeah, I actually have another type of landing gear in here that takes up a little less space. Uh, Should maybe I get rid of it? Or maybe the mod is no more. I don't see it. Wait, gear. Oh wait, yeah, there it is. Landing gear small. Uh, yeah, it takes up a little oh, less wow. space. I was going to do the same thing with mine, just kind of embed a landing gear, because it helps to be able to tow it around with you gotcha. on a larger ship. But, I mean, if you want, you can go ahead and take this thing for a little spin. Yeah. You don't uh, necessarily have ow. to get into a chair. <laughs> okay. But another, well, how I would do it is you just go into the control panel by going into one of your reactors that you have access to. Ah. Okay. Yeah. And once you're in there, find the remote control. Got it. And yeah, hit control. Oh. Yep. Well, that's very simple. Oh, and so now that you're controlling it. Oh, I should probably. Do you know how to I... assign uh, blocks to the hotbar? The actions? I'm doing that now. <laughs> okay, yeah, for the camera. Alright, there we go. I'm in the camera. Yep. Uh, Sweet. Did I unlock it? Okay. There you go. I don't know if I can. Oh. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> Am I missing something? Do you have a gyroscope? Uh, you got me. That's what I'm missing. <laughs> um, here. <laughs> Gyro. Gyro. You just, uh, throw one on the bottom or something. Yeah, I'm, I'm working on getting the stuff <laughs> for it. Alright. <laughs> uh, that's funny. I, I do that a lot, too. I, I have, like, 230 hours in this game so far, and I still do that from time to time. Seems like an easy thing to forget. It is. You just get so caught up in the design process because it's so much fun. You just it just slips my mind sometimes. You know it really <laughs> quick too. You're like oh crap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I should have noticed a little faster because at the bottom right it's glowing red. <laughs> that I'm missing that. Oh <laughs> yeah. Oh well. It happens. Uh, I don't know exactly where you want it. There's anywhere is cool. You, you can always make it prettier later. I need a couple yeah. motors. Motors, motors, motors. This will just make it functional for you. Cool. All right, you have a gyro now. All right, there we go. <laughs> That's what I wanted. Right, let me just see what's going on. Oh, strange. I see myself. Yeah. That was weird. I, uh, I don't know how well this thing handles. Let me, uh, <laughs> Take it for a little it. spin. Go ape shit. Jeez. <laughs> I'm just gonna follow you around. Oh, you're, oh. you're hauling. <laughs> oh. Dampener's off. It's fun. Like that idea. Oh. Maybe 
I'm thinking your internet connection is kind of uh, not so great right now. Yeah, Sometimes that might be Sometimes you get the really case. garbly, and your drone is kind of lagging a little bit, skipping around. It's okay. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. Yeah, there you go. I, I think it works all right. Or a little trick that you need to know about the antenna is if you leave the antenna range, you will lose control of your drone. Oh, yeah, I, that seems important. So if you want, if you need to go into the antenna and just kind of check the controls and make sure it's set to how you like. Small ship antennas have a max range of five kilometers. I think the oh, default wow. is 500 meters. That's ridiculous range. Yeah, default is 500. Yeah, large ship and station antennas go out to uh, 50 kilometers. <laughs> ten times the range. Is that ten times the range? Yeah, that's ten times the range. <laughs> Do I even math? <laughs> did I make a flip at some point? <laughs> Probably, I I yeah. I think when you're zooming through the asteroid, you're kind of... Oh, I'm gonna hop it back on the other side. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Too much stuff in the way on there. I don't want to bump anything. I should make your character walk the plank and just Spartan kick him off the edge. You could totally do it. <laughs> <laughs> now my camera's like centered, right? It's pretty much center, yeah. Okay. Right. And remember it tells you when you have landing gear in, uh, yep. in range. There you go, perfect. Sweet. That was fun. Yeah, drones are great. I'm definitely going to take advantage of this in my survival. Oh man, it's so much fun. I love drones. Little combat drones are a lot of fun too. That's what we should do next. Not in this video. It's getting a little lengthy. We're at about 17 minutes, 22 seconds. Well, that's just for this part. Crap. <laughs> yeah. I split this up into two. Anyway... Thank you all for watching. I hope you learned a little something out of this kind of, sort of, tutorial where we randomly blew some stuff up. <laughs> and you're just doing barrel rolls. Look at I that. <laughs> nice. Anyway, until next time, this is Ryan from Stromboli Games, signing off.